In this video, we will learn how to use Excel to find the probability for normal distribution, both regular normal distribution and standard normal distribution. So we will use two examples to demonstrate it. So the first example is about the regular normal distribution. It has mean 10 and a standard deviation equal to 2, and we want to find the following probabilities. So the first question they ask you to find about find the probability for x more than 12.7, which means you need to consider x smaller um, is larger than from negative infinite to 12.7. So the way you do it is you we first click the, the in uh, click the formula tab and find the insert function. And after you click insert function, and you will see the exactly the same function a window as you work on the binomial distribution. So now you need to choose the statistical. So after you choose the statistical, you will find many different functions. So last time we used the binomial distribution in this window. So now we want to use the normal distribution. So you scroll down a little bit towards in the bottom. So here you will find normal disk, normal invert, normal as disk, normal as invert. So uh, for the function have s, it means standard standard normal distribution. Obviously, in this case, we're, we don't consider about the normal distribution. So what we will do is uh, we will choose the normal disk, not inverse. Make sure you choose normal disk, and then you click OK. So after you click OK, we have many blanks you need to fill in. So X means standard deviation cumulative. So that um, so after in the class we emphasize how to identify the value for the parameters. The reason is because every time you switch to other statistics software, the only thing you need to know is just the value for the parameters. So if you cannot identify the right value for the parameters, you will make mistakes. So in this case, the x value. So let's see how the Excel defined x. x is the value for which you want the distribution. So obviously, in this case, x equal to 12.7. So you can type 12.7 in the first blank. So now you can move to the second blank, the mean. So in this case, we know the mean is the 10. So you can just type in 10. And for the standard deviation, so in the question, the standard deviation equal to 2. So you type in 2. So here, cumulative. So you can look at the explanation, how they define it, the value. So the cumulative distribution function used true for the probability density function used false. So obviously, we are considering about the cumulative function distribution because we're considering 12, uh, the values more than 12.7 is cumulative from the net infinite to 12.7. So here you type true. So now you can click OK. So 0 0.911492 is the value for the x smaller, the smaller 12.7. So you can uh, you can put the value here. So now uh, we finished the first question. The second question is, what is the probability for x larger than 12.7? So in order to answer this question, we can find the complement event of the, uh, x larger than 12.7. Obviously, it is x uh, smaller and equal to 12.7. So using 1 minus the complement event of x larger than 12.7, you can find the probability. So you just type equal to 1 minus this probability and click enter. 
you got the answer. So for x larger than 12.7, the probability is 0 0.088508. So that is a probability. So our third question is, what is the probability for x larger than 9.3 for smaller than 12.7? So in the class, we now, in order to find the probability between the two values, the way you do is first find the first uh, the cumulative probability for the first number x more than 12.7 minus x more than 9.7. So now we have already calculated the probability for x more than 12.7. The actual work we need to do is we need to figure out what's the probability for x more than 9.3. So now you click the insert function again to the statistical and find the normal disk. Choose the normal disk, click OK. So now the value for x is not 12.37, it's 9.3. So you type 9.3. And the mean is still the same, it's 10. And the standard deviation is 2. And uh, here, since we're considering cumulative distrib uh, dis uh, distribution function, and you type 2. And then you click OK. So for x more than 9.3, it's 0.963169. So now you can figure out how what is probably for x larger than 9.3, but more than 12.7. So you type in equal to the x, the probability for x smaller than 12.7 minus x smaller than 9.3 and then click OK. So for x larger than 9.3 but more than 12.7 is, uh, is uh, 0.548323 so that's the answer for this question. So now the next question is about the standard normal distribution find the probability. So the first question, what is the z larger than 0 0.12? So you know it's, it's equivalent to say 1 minus probability of z is smaller than 0 0.12. So now use the same procedure, click the insert function to the statistical. So now we still use the normal, but normal as disk. Since it is the standard normal distribution, so you need to use the standard disk, click OK. So now we only have two blank, why? Because for any standard uh, normal distribution, we have mean equal to 1, uh, standard deviation equal to 0. So you, you don't need to put in the value for mean and standard deviation. Um, because the computer knows what's the value for that. So the only thing you need to put in is, uh, is the z value. So in this case, the z value is 0 0.12. You type in 0.12. And now the cumulative. So again, we have the considering x more than 0 0.12. So you just can't type in 2. and click OK. So you got the value for z large, smaller than 0.112, but in order to get the answer for z larger than 0 0.12, 0 0.12, you need to use 1 minus this value. Then you got 0.52242. So that is the value we want to have. So we have done the similar question in class, and we get the exactly the same answer for z larger than 0.12. It's 0.452242. So now we want to calculate what is the probability for z is more than negative 0.12. So we use the same procedure to uh, click the fun insert function and choose statistical. And the slope scroll down, choose the normal as this. Click OK. So now you can type negative 0.1 or 0.112, uh, 
and a type true. And click OK. So now you found you got 0.4522 again. In the class, I mentioned the probability for z larger than 0.12 equal to z smaller than negative 0.12. So here we show it again. So the next question is what is the probability for z larger than negative 0.212 or smaller than positive, uh, positive 0.12? Uh, so the way you figure it out is just try to figure out what this equal to. So in order to get this probability, you need to calculate both. Use the probability for z smaller than point, uh, point 0.12 minus the probability for uh, z smaller than point 0.12. Oh, it's more than negative point twelve. So that is the goal. You need to calculate this. Calculate this. Uh, this formula in order to get the probability for z large than negative point twelve, so more than point, uh, to, uh, point twelve. So for the probability, uh, so we have already calculated what the probability for z so more than point twelve. That is. Uh, 0.547745 so you can directly use this value minus the probability for z is more than 0.12 so we have calculated on the second question so you just use this value so now you figure out what is the probability for z smaller than uh, 0.12 but uh, smaller than 0.12 but larger than negative point, uh, point 0.12 that is 0.095517 So using this video, you can help you work on your homework problems.